there we go. There's a little guy. Finally, I've been doing some sunset walleye jigging here. Looks like they're just starting to turn on. It's got an 8 ounce Berkeley Gold Minnow jig. 12, 13 inch walleye here. There's a better one. Holy cow. Oh, wow. He is peeling drag. Oh, baby. Could get a cat, too. Hoping for a monster walleye. That's what I'm here for. Do this every day until I get a trophy. Just milk the numbers and happen into some size along the way, hopefully. It's got a six pound test, so I gotta play this guy out. Could be a could be a channel cat. I don't really know what it is. Heavy fish show. For this line. This is a walleye, it's a big one. <laughs> I have a feeling it isn't. It's a little pretty unlikely. By, the, by how big this feels. You know, 10 pounds or so. Decent cat, or a big walleye. Yeah, I see dark, it's probably a cat. That's cool though. Nothing wrong with that. Turn the light on here for you. Nice, decent, fat fall channel cat, probably. Probably around average size. Yeah, he slammed that right in his mouth. Oh yeah, he's a fatty. Probably real chunky around 28. 28 or 29, I'd say. Good sized cat, I suppose. Get a measurement on him and let him go. He's 28 and 3 quarters and 8 pounds, 13 ounces. I'm go here. Awesome. There we go. Finally got one on right next to me. Feels like, hit like a walleye. It's really fighting. Yep, it's a walleye. Not a huge one, but better than the last one. Awesome. Probably pretty chunky, probably 17, 17 and a half incher. Oh boy, this one's barely moving. <laughs> Peel and drag. Holy cow, taking me out to the middle. Might be another cat. Get some more light here. Doing the same thing, getting the fish every 15 minutes or so, 10 minutes, something like that. Not super hot, but it's starting to heat up. Some like early fall action. I hope this is a walleye, that'd be awesome. <laughs> it is really chugging like a cat though. I don't see any eyeball, so. Probably a cat. Pretty cool. I've heard of a 
you know, I've heard of people getting a few cats a night before on Berkeley gulp jigs. They, you know, they have some scent to them, so the channel cats do like them, I think. It's not unheard of. I never really do it, though, in summer. Yeah, that's another channel cat. <coughs> Breathing in gnats. Neat. I found like a bright piece of gold in a crack between two rocks. Actually, I can show you the rocks. It was right here. <laughs> it was at the edge of this rock I'm standing on and like a little rock next to it. And I, I thought it was like a jig or something. I was like, maybe that's a walleye. And I kicked it and something hit my leg. So it was a walleye, you know, another keeper range one, like 17, 18. I'm not keeping them, but that's like your average keeper size, you know. <laughs> and he was stuck in that crack there or something, just chilling in that crack. I kicked him and he bolted out. This cat's really fighting hard. I gotta take it easy on him. That's neat that I'm getting as many cats as walleyes. You can tell it's still summer, I guess, if that's happening. Alright, beach them here. Water's super low right now. That might be part of the problem. But here's a lack of walleyes. This guy's a little smaller. Yeah, I'm not gonna measure this guy. He's probably 25, 26. Right around there. That gulp jig again. Yep, barely hooked. Show you him here. Alright, let him go. I jigged in the rain for a little while, then took a nap and then moved to another river to jig fish for rock bass. Got one on the first cast here. I'm at the spillway part of the river. Yeah, smaller guy. Probably 8 incher. I got one on the second cast. I'm just steady retrieving a 3 inch 16th ounce curly tail jig motor oil, even though they'll hit all sorts of colors. Um, they're really easy to catch. I'm just going to try and cycle through some numbers, find a big one. It's been my goal for a long, like a really big one, a trophy. You know, mid upper teens. This one's probably 8.5 or so. Alright, 3 for 5. You know, I found out a long time ago that spring, sometimes in summer at nights, and then fall too, just crawl on a three-inch jig along the bottom is killer for numbers of rock bass if they're in the area. You know, sometimes I get, I don't know, like 70 in a matter of hours. More than once that's happened, just doing this. It's really simple, but it works great for rock bass. Pretty hot action. Getting one every other cast, probably. Probably not a ton here, probably like 10 to 15 usually, but just love catching them. I love the chance at a big one. I've always wanted to hunt records. That's pretty much, you know, a lot of the excitement in fishing for me. Just looking for trophy or record fish. And I just love rock bass fishing. I get tickled by it, just like other panfish. But, I don't know, just have, it's weird. Most people hate rock bass, but I really get a big kick out of them. It's so easy. It's a better one. Probably nine and a half, nine and three quarters. Somewhere around there. Don't usually do this, but I'm pretty sure I'm overestimating them by like half an inch or so. Probably because they're fat. It's middle of fall now, so I'm putting on a gut, and I usually think they're a little longer than they are when they get thicker. You know, that last one was almost nine, I checked. This guy feels like he has a little bit of weight to him. Oh, yeah. It's at least as good as the last one. Sweet. There's a nice rock bass. That one's got to be bigger than the last one. Over nine, I'd say. There we go. That last one was dead on nine. 
they got like a nice like nice thickness to them right now pretty tall in the back they're getting a little bit of a gut they're good looking another decent one probably around eight and a half or so yeah already seems like it's starting to slow down a little bit you know usually just a, a good handful over here I've only been here a few minutes but you know, I'll probably only stay a few minutes or a fraction of an hour, you know. It's another quality one, though. Great looking rock bass. This guy hit right next to me. Oh, yeah, another nice one. It's got a little bit of weight to him. Definitely a 9 plus, I'd say. Barely. This guy hit right underneath me. I checked, the last one was dead on 9. But with a nice gut, you know, nothing terribly long, just nice, thick, decent rock bass here. <laughs> this guy's right around the same size, too. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Almost the same one. A little bit less thick on the gut, for sure. But. Another beauty. Last rock bass is like 9 or 9.1, so another nice decent one. You know, I'm thinning them out here, and I'm probably going to go fish somewhere else soon, but I'm just happy to be catching them again. A lot of people hate these guys, but I love them. Sometimes I really miss them. You know, when I don't get on them for a while. Alright, moved to a different part of the spillway. Got a rock bass on the second cast. They're really easy fish to, to target, you know. I mean, this this jig trick works pretty consistently. And uh, once you thin them out, you just move to a new spot with more rock bass. Yeah, this guy's all wrapped up. I got him in the mouth, but he got wrapped up on the fins there. It's another 8 inch or 8 and a half. I always tell it's a rock bass because they have like a really like weak wiggle to them. And then they kind of give up. They just like wiggle a little, like they quiver, <laughs> and then they slide forward. Usually, you know, not always, but usually. Um, here's another one. There's great looking rock bass. Real good color right now. Man, I love rock bass. <laughs> just go out and catch me some river sunfish. That's the quiver I'm talking about. They do that underwater. It's pretty weak. That's how they fight though. Seems like there's a decent number over here too. It's like small pockets of them scattered in the spillway. It's usually like the norm this time of year. Not huge schools, but solid ones. them out a little bit on this side, I think. Sweet, man. I love the golden ones. They're like the olive green ones. Really pretty. You know, just take a two or three inch curly tail jig, cast it out, and uh, let it get towards the bottom. It doesn't have to be on the bottom. I haven't lost a jig yet because I'm not clipping the rocks, but more towards the bottom than the top, and just reel it back in. Easiest thing in the world, and it's killer on rock bass. And once in a while you pick up something else too, like a little walleye. Or a smallie sometimes too, you know, even at night. Let's get hit right next to me here. Right on shore. A smaller rock bass. Guy picked it up on the fall. <laughs> Funny when they give up, you just pull them in across the surface. Yeah. So 
switched over to a spinner. Um, biggest blue fox I could find to fish a sunrise bite here on the side of this spillway. It feels like a rock bass. It feels like it's given up, but I'm probably wrong. No, it is. Nice rock bass. Wow. It's the best one so far. You know, he'll get a measurement on him, but he's probably, I don't know, nine and a half or so. I mean, nothing huge, but respectable. Something else on the spinner. Measured that last rock bass at 9.4, so my guesses are buttoning up. Finally. Pretty off at the beginning. Yeah, it's a walleye. Sweet. Starting to turn on. Another decent one. On a Meps undressed Agley, I think. So I lost my blue fox. Probably around the same size as the one from from last sunset, you know, 17, 17 and a half. That's what I've been waiting for. There's a smallie. Starting to turn on. He's really tugging there. Holy cow. Probably not a big one, but just strong fish. Small ones really get, and they really fight hard sometimes. Yeah. Whoa. Slipped down my hands there. And that same spinner. Probably 15 or close. Yeah, 14 to 15, I'd say. That one feels like a rock bass. On the spinner. It's real in fast here. Yeah, another rock bass. Pretty good rock bass action tonight. Considering I've just been fishing for a couple hours around sunset and a couple hours around sunrise. That feels like another rock bass. Just wiggling. Yep. Another one on the spinner. And they're just coming out of nowhere. I'm getting one every cast again on the spinner. That's three in a row. After I thinned them out, I don't know, 20 minutes ago. Must be a timing thing. It's, it's starting to get bright out. That's just a smaller one. 